just giving you a quick update on how to make sure that you really make the most of your open badges. So to do this, I'm showing you inside my personal open badge passport account. It's a free account and it's the place where I manage all the badges that I receive, no matter where I get them from. You can set it up just with an email address. I recommend using a personal email address um, because this is a way of collecting badges you've been um, awarded wherever they come from and taking them with you. So if you use your institutional email address, the chances are that at some point you may change institution. So if you do need to um, include perhaps more than one email address, just go into the settings of your account where you'll see um, email addresses and you can have all the email addresses that you want on your account added there. So you have a badge and you'd like to use it perhaps in a paper format to um, share and show to people within your institution. So let me show you quickly how to do that. So I'm going to come to my Euracool badge from last year. And you'll see from the screen here some information about that badge and how and I earned it. Um, if I click on share here, you'll also see that I have made sure that the settings on this badge are public so that it's easy for me to show and share that badge um, through social media or on my website. Um, or perhaps using a QR code or an embed code. So always when your badge arrives, it is set as private and visible only to you. So if you go under the share tab, you'll be able to make sure that your badge is then public. And you can also show um, and select how that um, sharing displays. And usually I go with a, a link to my profile. Um, but you've got a choice there of um, just showing your name in the badge. Now, up on this top uh, list of tabs, if you come to this little arrow here, you'll see that we've got lots more things we can do with this, including seeing the statistics on how many people have viewed the badge, um, seeing who else has been earned this badge, and you can send them congratulations, for example, or the use case I was just mentioning here, you may perhaps want to download your badge. Now, you've got two choices under download. The paper version of a badge in order to perhaps hand it in to your institution. For that, you need download PDF. So all you'll do is click this and you'll see straight away a download has ended up in my downloads folder here. It just says badge. And when I go to my downloads folder, I can print that off. So that gives me um, a printed version of my badge that I can then uh, show. So let me just open my downloads folder and I will show you that. So a paper version of my badge here with the same information uh, and the reason why I earned it and who issued it and the issuer contact but crucially a QR code here, which can be scanned in order to verify the badge. Um, so this is the sort of document that isn't um, easily uh, falsified. And you can see the organization that issued it. You can see the person that's been issued to and the date. In this case, it has no expiry date. You can see the criteria for issue. So this should be plenty in order to make sure that your institution knows that you were a presenter at the Euracool conference. Crucially, having an open badge is of most value if you actually make use of the facilities within Open Badge um, Passport. You can, there are plenty of other backpacks you can use. And in that download um, link there, you can see that there is a way of downloading just the um, electronic badge itself to perhaps export it to a different backpack if that's what you want to do. But 
importantly, the the uh, Open Badge Passport gives you a way of setting up your own uh, ways of sharing and showing off your badges. So if I go to my profile here, you can see I've got an option here called Pages. So automatically, you will build up a profile here, but what you put in it, you can decide to edit and how you pull those pages together and create your own pages. You can select here. It's a very easy way of picking and pulling in badges that you already have within your account to show them off. As long as you set them to a, um, uh, a public view, then all your badges can be pulled out and selected and grouped as you wish to do so. And I have done a, a separate video that shows you more about how to do that. The more you do with your badge, the more useful it will be to you. So I really recommend this as a way of making sure that you show your professional identity off and uh, using it as a way of pulling together your badges and perhaps adding, uh, contextualizing them and bringing more value. You can see that it is easily possible to share those profiles then as a link or on um, social media, for example. So I hope you find that useful. Um, do get in touch with your call if you wish to know more.